hello students hello learners this is manisha tomar and today in this lecture i will explain just ncert word to word chapter environmental chemistry unit 14 this is the last chapter of class 12th environmental chemistry it's is this chapter is related to environmental chemistry our surroundings what do you mean by environment environment means our surrounding so today we will study about our health our about our, our environmental health and our surrounding and thinking about our future generation so first of all we will start from the ncert is quotation regarding environment the world has achieved brilliance without wisdom power without conscience our earth is a world of nuclear giants and ethical infants it is a very truth in modern time aaj ka world sirf wisdom ke piche bhag raha hai without brilliance sirf power ko dekh raha hai kaun science ki nuclear giants ke sath ethical infants ho rahe hain so aur nature kehta hai environment is the nature that says us if you protect us i will protect us if you destroy me i will destroy you so in nowadays we are seeing all these things due to changes in environment so let's start first what are the objectives of this chapter after studying this unit you will be able to understand the meaning of environment till chemistry Def- define atmospheric pollution list reasons for global warming greenhouse effect and acid rain so these are the major environmental problem that is greenhouse effect and global warming acid rain and also ozone layer depletion and its impact on environment give reasons for water pollution and know about international standard for drinking water without water there is no existence of life but still today we are spoiling we are contaminated polluting water day by day due to human activities so we will learn reasons how to ca- how we can protect this water and all describe causes of soil pollution now after water pollution we will discuss about the soil pollution because soil is soil is a very important part of our life without soil we cannot exist also because it gives us food suggest and adopt strategies for control of environmental pollution which strategies we can follow to control the environment next appreciate the importance of green chemistry in day to day life nowadays after seeing lots of problems in environment nowadays there is involvement of green chemistry which is helpful to protect environment so let's start all these objectives with the help of these objectives explanation of the chapter what ncert has written first of all definition of environmental studies my dear students my dear learner environmental is not a, a particular subject it is a combination sum of all social economical biological physical and chemical interrelations with our surroundings in this subject this is the subject in which we study about social science economical science biological science physical chemistry and medical and all branches so this is a particular study of our surrounding in all aspects in this unit the focus will be on environmental chemistry environmental chemistry deals with the study of the origin transport reactions effects and fates of chemical species in the environment environmental chemistry kya explain karti hai 
study of origin transportation of reactions effects and fates of chemical species in the environment because all the reactions going through in the environment that are chemical reactions so this particular branch of chemistry is called environmental chemistry let's start environmental chemistry first we will discuss about the environmental pollution environmental pollution is the effect of undesirable changes in our surrounding that have harmful effect on plants animals and human beings kya hai environmental pollution environmental pollution hota hai environment mein undesirable changes addition or mixing of harmful undesirable substances in environment environment means air water soil in these if unnecessary unwanted harmful substances are mixed that condition is called environmental pollution that surroundings are harmful for plants animals and human as well a substance which causes environmental pollution is known as environmental pollutants pollutants can be solid liquid or gaseous substance present in greater concentration than in natural abundance and are produced due to the human activities or due to the natural happenings for example we are using different transportation where we are using different fossil fuels like coal petroleum combustion of wood also all these creates pollution in environment because they contains sulfur nitrogen carbon and when they combust in our transportation means and in our industries they remove oxides of nitrogen oxygen nitrogen carbon and sulfur so these are the human activities in case of natural activities there are lots of storms earthquakes which volcanic eruptions by which lots of gases particulates released that cause environmental pollution environmental pollutants may be solid that like particle dust particles smoke liquids or gases now do you know an average human being requires nearly 12 to 15 times more air than the food because without air we cannot exist air is a very essential substance to existence in of life either they are animals plants or microorganism so we can survive without food one day two day or three days but without air we cannot survive for two minutes so even a small amount of pollutants in the air become significant compared to similar labels present in the food S condition is this every time we are taking in each and every second we are taking air if air contains any single pollutant that will be enter in our body and that creates lots lots of problems as compared to food pollutants can be degradable like discarded vegetables which rapidly break down by natural process on the basis of degradation we can classify pollutants in two categories biodegradable pollutants and non biodegradable pollutants biodegradable pollutants are those which can be decomposed by biological factors in the earth by the natural process like food waste discarded vegetables fruits food materials on other hand pollutants which are slowly degradable remains in environment in an unchanged form for many decades like dic ddt dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane this is a very dangerous carcinogenic pesticide we are using this in different agricultural activities for killing the insects but this is a biodegradable non biodegradable pollutants and 
इट कैन एग्जिस्ट इन एनवायरमेंट फॉर मैनी डिकेड्स प्लास्टिक मटेरियल्स हैवी मेटल्स मैनी केमिकल्स न्यूक्लियर वेस्ट दीज आर ऑल नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल पॉलीमर्स पॉल्यूटेंट्स दे कैन एग्जिस्ट इन एनवायरमेंट इफ दे कंटामिनेटेड वंस दे कैन सर्वाइव एग्जिस्ट फॉर मैनी डिकेड्स इन द एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज दे आर नॉट बायोडिग्रेडेबल सो दैट दे आर कंसिडर्ड एज नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल पॉल्यूटेंट्स हैवी मेटल हैवी मेटल्स मैनी कैन न्यूक्लियर वेस्ट ई टी सी वंस रिलीज इन द एनवायरमेंट आर डिफिकल्ट टू रिमूव दीज दीज पॉल्यूटेंट्स can't be degraded by natural process and are harmful to living organism in the process of environmental pollution pollutants originate from a source and get transported by air or water or the dumping dumped into the soil by human being so the major causes of pollutants environmental pollution is human activities in modern time dear learners as you know and you can understand this thing we are running behind the success and development but we are not thinking about the environment we have to check ourselves to think about environment so let's come to the next point atmospheric pollution dear students environment can be classified in four categories in different video i will explain different components of environment the first component in which we are living is atmosphere lithosphere hydrosphere and thermosphere atmosphere contains air hydrosphere contains water lithosphere contains soil and biosphere contains all living and non living being so study of environment different components of environment study of air is called atmosphere atmosphere includes air atmosphere can also further classified in different categories on the basis of altitude and composition in first sphere in which we are living around approximately from the lower level to higher 15 km that is called troposphere next to the troposphere is stratosphere which is also known as ozonosphere mesosphere and thermosphere so first reason is troposphere in this chapter we will discuss about the troposphere as well as stratosphere the activity environmental activities which is going on in troposphere and stratosphere and they creates lots of problems to the world we will study in this chapter both spheres problems atmospheric pollution the atmosphere that surrounded rounds the earth is not of the same thickness at all heights as i told you there are concentric layers of air or regions and each layer has different density for example in troposphere we have only 70% 78% oxygen 21% oxygen 0.03% carbon dioxide and other trace gases while in stratosphere we have a thick layer of ozone which protect us from the harmful ultraviolet rays so we have different densities in different layers or regions of the atmosphere the lowest region of the atmosphere is as is called troposphere in which human beings along with other organisms live this sphere extend to the height of 10 km from sea level because we are here explaining ncert that's why here is the only 10 km but it will be vary in different textbooks above the troposphere between 10 to 50 km 
above sea level lies stratosphere which is also called strato ozonosphere and in troposphere is troposphere tribute tra tra turbulent dusty zone containing air much water vapor and clouds this is the reason of strong air movement and cloud formation the stratosphere on the other hand contains di nitrogen di oxygen ozone and little water vapor the major component of the stratosphere is ozone and that is very essential for us atmospheric pollution is generally studied as troposphere stratosphere pollution pollution the presence of ozone in the stratosphere prevents about 99 point 99 point 5% of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiations from reaching the earth's surface and thereby protecting humans and other animals from its effects so it is very essential for us yes first we will study about tropospheric pollution tropospheric pollution occurs due to the presence of undesirable solid or gaseous particles in the air the following are the major gaseous and particulate pollutants present in the troposphere first are gaseous air pollutants these are the oxides of sulfur nitrogen and carbon di carbon hydrogen sulfide hydrocarbons ozone and other oxidants so gaseous state mein hame kya milte hain oxides of sulfur it may be so2 so3 no2 no3 no co2 co carbon monoxide hydrogen sulfide h2s and hydrocarbons like methane butane propane ozone and other oxidant these are called gaseous air pollutants which causes air pollution basically particulate particulate pollutants these are dust mist fume smoke smog all gaseous air pollutants oxides of sulfur oxides of sulfur are produced when sulfur containing fossil fuels is burnt the most common species species sulfur oxide dioxide is a gas that is poisonous to both animals and plants it has been reported that even a low concentration of sulfur dioxide causes respiratory diseases like asthma bronchitis emphysema in human beings sulfur dioxide causes irritation to the eyes resulting in tears and redness high concentration of so2 leads to stiffness of flowers but flower birds which eventually fall off from plants uncatalyzed oxidation of sulfur dioxide is slow however the presence of particulate matter in polluted air catalyzes the oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide so conversion of so2 by oxidation due to presence of oxygen in the atmosphere converts it into sulfur trioxide and this sulfur trioxide when react with water it forms sulfuric acid the reaction can also be promoted by ozone and hydrogen peroxide so2 when react with ozone ozone is also acts as a oxidizing agent and it turns converts so2 into so3 so2 with react hydrogen peroxide converts it into sulfuric acid in aquas which is a very dangerous pollution pollutants for us oxides of nitrogen di nitrogen and di oxygen are the main constituents of air these gases do not react with each other 
at a normal temperature. At high alt altitude, when lightning strikes, they combine to form oxides of nitrogen. So, is it clear to all? Dinitrogen and two is a gas. Normal temperature per ये reactive नहीं होती है. Otherwise, this will be create problem for us because it is seventy eight percent in the atmosphere, low atmosphere. But at the high altitude, when sunlight strikes more, it oxidized into NO2 or NO3 negative which is washed into soil where it serves as a fertilizer dear students dear learners as we know that we have plant fertilizers also like human fertilizers human nutrients like uh, carbohydrate fats protein plant fertilizer plants also needs nutrients these nutrients are called fertilizers like npk nitrates phosphates and potassium these are the major fertilizers for plants which helps to growth fix nitrogen fixation and all other activities to the plant no2 is oxidized to nitrate ions which is washed into soil where it serves as a fertilizer in an automobile engine at high temperature when fossil fuel is burnt dino nitrogen and dioxygen combine to yield significant quantities of nitric oxide no and nitrogen dioxide and when they combine like here is the reaction around 14883 Kelvin temperature. NO react instantly with oxygen and convert it into nitrogen dioxide. The rate of production of NO2 is faster when nitric acid oxide reacts with ozone in the atmosphere. So, in atmosphere, in upper region of the atmosphere, NO react with ozone and form. nitrogen dioxide the irritant rad haze in the traffic and congested places is due to oxides of nitrogen higher concentration of no2 damaged damaged the leaves of plants and retarded the rate of photosynthesis nitrogen dioxide is a lung irritant that can lead to an acute respiratory disease in children it is toxic to living tissues also nitrogen oxide dioxide is also harmful to various textile fibers and materials hydrocarbon second type of pollutants is hydrocarbon hydrocarbons are composed of hydrogen and carbon only and are formed by the incomplete combustion of for fuels used in automobiles hydrocarbons are carcinogenic in nature carcinogenic means cancer causing agents they cause cancer they harm plants by causing aging breakdown of tissues and shedding of leaves flowers and twigs that's mean hydrocarbons is very hazardous or dangerous for us oxides of carbon carbon gives two oxides carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is a danger harmful serious air pollutant it is a colorless and odorless gas highly poisonous to living being because of its ability to block delivery of oxygen to organ to the organs and tissues it is produced as a result of incomplete combustion of carbon so dear students carbon monoxide is a very dangerous gas very poisonous gas and it is opt released by the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels अगर इनकम्प्लीट कम्बशन होता है 
इन डेफिशियंसी ऑफ ऑक्सीजन तो वहाँ से कार्बन मोनोक्साइड रिलीज होती है वैन दिस कार्बन मोनोक्साइड एंटर्स इन आर बॉडी दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ब्लॉक द डिलीवरी और ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन आर बॉडी इन इट इट स्टॉप द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू ईच एंड एवरी ऑर्गन सेल एंड टिश्यू सो दैट इट क्रिएट्स लॉट्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इवन डेथ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड इज मेनली रिलीज इन टू द एयर बाई ऑटोमोबाइल एग्जॉस्ट अदर सोर्सेज विच आर प्रोड्यूस सी ओ इन्वॉल्व इन कंप्लीट कंबर्शन ऑफ कोल फायर वुड पेट्रोल एंड ऑल द नंबर ऑफ वहीकल्स हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग ओवर द ओवर ईयर्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड मैनी वहीकल्स आर पुअरली मैंटेन्ड एंड सेवरल हैव इन एडिकुएट पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल एक्विपमेंट्स रिजल्टिंग इन द रिलीज ऑफ ग्रेटर अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड एंड अदर पॉल्यूटिंग गैसेज डू यू नो वाई कार्बन मोनोक्साइड इज पॉइजनस या इट बाइंड टू हीमोग्लोबिन टू फॉर्म कार्बोक्सी हीमोग्लोबिन विच इज अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड टाइम्स मोर स्टेबल दैन ऑक्सी हीमोग्लोबिन कॉम्प्लेक्स इन ब्लड वैन The concentration of carboxyhemoglobin reaches about three to four percent. The oxygen carrying capacity of blood is greatly reduced. This oxygen deficiency results into headache, weak eyesight, nervousness, and cardiovascular disorders. This is the reason why people are advised not to smoke in pregnant women who. I have the habit of smoking the increased co yani ki carbon monoxide level in blood may induce premature birth spontaneous abortions and deformed babies next carbon dioxide because we have two pollutants two oxides of carbon one is the carbon monoxide which is a poisonous gas carbon dioxide is released into atmosphere by respiration burning of fossil fuels for energy and by decomposition of limestone burning the manufacturing of cement it is also emitted during volcanic eruptions carbon dioxide gas is confined to atmosphere only normally it forms about 0.03% by volume of the atmosphere because this is a greenhouse gas as we know that it is a greenhouse gas at most with the increased use of fossil fuels a large amount of carbon dioxide gets released into the atmosphere excess co2 in the air is removed by green plants and this maintains an appropriate level of co2 in the atmosphere but nowadays we are doing continuously deforestation so we are creating lots of problem this green plants require co2 for photosynthesis and they in turn emit oxygen thus maintaining the delicate balance as you know deforestation and burning of fossil fuels increases the CO2 level and distribute dis disturb the balance in the atmosphere the increased amount of CO2 in the atmosphere in the air is mainly responsible for global warming so my dear students in this part i have discussed about the environment from the ncert book explanation and in next part we will just discuss other points of the ncert like global warming and greenhouse effect ozone layer depletion acid rain if you like this video comment share and like if you didn't subscribe my channel kindly subscribe my channel if you not, don't like this video you just comment or click on that dis dislike button thank you thank you so much for watching this video